It's flip season, and we got a big one. The number two ranked defensive lineman in America, five-star Justin Scott, has just flipped his commitment from Ohio State to Miami. Now, this is breaking news, and I'm going to bring on director of recruiting for On3, Chad Simmons. He's going to break down the shocking development for us. But first, Miami fans, do me a favor. Hit subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. You already know the next three weeks on the run-up to signing day is going to be crazy. We need you to be a part of this channel, so hit subscribe for me. All right. Now, who are we talking about? We're talking about Justin Scott. He goes six foot four, 315 pounds from St. Ignatius High School in Chicago, Illinois. Now, Scott is elite. He's the number two ranked defensive lineman in America and the number 11 prospect overall. All right, let's get into it. Let's bring on director of recruiting for On3, Chad Simmons. Chad, this is a shocker. How was Miami able to pull this one off? You know, I think it was more Justin Scott just keeping Miami in the back of his mind. He watched the season play out for Miami. Uh, Miami didn't, you know, flood his, you know, DMs or mm -hmm. text him all the time or call every day and really try to, you know, overwhelm him to let him know that, hey, we're still here. We're still interested. But I think Justin Scott, when he committed to Ohio State, you know, kept Miami in the back of his mind, watched the season, uh, saw some progression. Um, and then he initiated contact with Miami a couple of weeks ago. It kind of took off pretty quickly from there, had a couple of serious talks with mom and people in his camp and decided he wanted to be a Miami hurricane. And the fireworks are starting for the Canes. And, you know, Chad, last year we saw the big commitments. We saw him land Samson Okunwo and Francis Malago and Ruben Bain and some really elite players. So what does this mean, this flip of Justin Scott mean for Miami recruiting in the 2024 cycle? Yeah, definitely a step in the right direction. Obviously, they've been tied to numerous high-profile defensive mm -hmm. linemen throughout this process. And they've lost many of those, talking about David Stone or Dylan Stewart. or They're still fighting for a guy like L.J. McCray. Uh, all elite five-star prospects in this 2024 class that play the defensive line position. But, Scott, that's where it starts, inside. He's a versatile guy. Uh, he had every offer on the table. He took OVs to to Georgia, Ohio State, Miami. Notre Dame was involved for some time. I mean, he could have gone wherever he wanted to go. This is a statement victory for Mario Cristobal, Joe Salave, Jason Taylor, uh, analyst Steve Scrum was in the mix as well, very much involved in this recruitment. So a very big win on the trail late for Mario Cristobal and the University of Miami. And like you said, a much needed win. They were in on so many big time targets this summer and they all committed elsewhere, you know, one by one. But here they are circling back around. So maybe there's more to come. But I want to back up a second. Now, you've Justin Scott has been on your radar for some time because he's a national prospect. So what is Miami getting in Scott? You know, a lot to work with. He's, a, he's an athletic big guy. He's played some running back in high school on the offensive wow. side. He plays basketball for his high school team. He can run the court. He can dunk. He can move his feet. You know, I think obviously he's still re refining his skill set. Some people thought he could even be a better offensive lineman in college. So it shows the kind of versatility uh, that he has. Like you mentioned, 6'4", 315 pounds, mm -hmm. a big time Midwestern kid, but still the best football ahead of him. He's explosive off the ball. He can move laterally. Uh, and again, I think it's all about that upside. As he matures physically, he gets rid of basketball, focuses 12 months out of the year on football, nutrition, training, uh, technique. You know, all of that, I think, will come in time at Miami. But they have a lot to work with and a lot to be excited about. Absolutely. The number two ranked defensive lineman in America commits, flips his commitment from Ohio State to Miami tonight. You guys are here for it. Let me know. Comment section below, Canes. How are we feeling about this flip? It's a big one. Maybe this is just the start of a run for Miami recruiting. Chad, thanks for taking time to drop by the inside scoop and then, you know, break down this breaking news for us. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.